Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Jamarat coming to you today with a brand new video, boys. And today, we have got a very special video going through the completion of Petit's campaign, claiming some investments, and upgrading our team. So let's get right into the video. So guys, welcome to another video on the channel, and today guys, we've got a very, very special video. We are going through and completing our first Icons campaign, claiming up a whole bunch of Team Hero investments, as well as um, upgrading the team. So what we're going to be doing first and foremost, guys, is going through and showing you the team that we are going to be using for Emmanuel Petit's campaign. Now, we are on the final match, and as you guys all know, it requires... 96 overall with 10 French players in the team. So let's just go through and show you what exactly we're rocking with. So we've got first and foremost uh, Digne here of Barcelona. So he is going to be our French left back. Um, at right back guys, we are going to be using Sabide of uh, Monaco. So that's our right back in the team. So there is Sabide, Digne, Petit, and Mbappe as well as Pogba so we still need to go through and change up a few other players now for French center backs guys there are a ton we've got uh, Raphael Varane here from uh, the rivalries promo guys so if you went through and did the bail most people should have him um, also you know if not you can use either Koscielny, uh, Perrin or Laporte so you know you get Koscielny from the English campaign, Perrin from the French and Laporte from the Spanish most people by now would have you know done the those, those campaigns are by all means, maybe not the Pogba, but definitely the others. But yeah, as you can see, obviously we're using Petit because he is required. Um, at center mid, guys, we are going to be using uh, the Rabio here. So most people should have this as well. Trophy Master Rabio. So that is a whole bunch of French players. We still need two more, so we're going to be switching up our striker and goalkeeper. Just showing you there as well. Pogba and Mbappe. At goalkeeper, guys, we are using Ariola. We've had him in the team for quite some time. He was our first goalkeeper that we leveled up, uh, the Trophy Master. So he is also very, very useful for this campaign. And finally, guys, we have got our Team of the Year Griezmann. So we could use the Domination one, but he's just so hard to level up. So we went through and picked up this Griezmann on the market during the Team of the Year crash when the value packs were out. So he is going to be very, very useful for this campaign. And also as a future investment, hopefully his price does rise up in the future. So we are at 95 overall and we need to get it up to 96. So as it stands, guys, we need to go through and upgrade a few of our skill boosts. Obviously, uh, with Team of the Year, uh, a lot of skill boosts were sort of given out to us. You know, and I, I'm not going to lie, but, you know, during Freeze, guys, so many people got a lot of skill boosts. So Freeze was seriously just like the skill boost heaven for everyone, man. It helped out so much. So there is our first ever elite skill boost, guys. It looks very, very nice. And we are just going to level up tackling as well um, because we do get uh, plus two for two uh, for two players, so plus one on each. So we'll go through and do that. And that should be the squad, guys. So that is 96 overall with 10 French players in the team. If you guys want to screenshot that, go ahead and do it. Obviously, you know, my skill boost may be higher than other people's because I do grind the game a lot. Um, but yeah, that's just the squad that I'm using, guys. Um... Now let's jump into the Petit campaign. I'm slowly also working on uh, Puyol because I think that he is going to be my third center back alongside Ramos and um, Maldini. So yeah, I will be working on that as well slowly. Anyway guys, jumping into this final game for the Petit campaign. We're up against Uruguay with Suarez and Cavani up front. I really also wanted to just test out this team of the year Griezmann because he's got really, really nice stats. And straight off the bat, he feels absolutely amazing. Um, so that that's actually really, really nice. Um, I will take that. That's a great start, guys. Most important thing, as usual, like regardless of which campaign you are doing, one of the most important things to do is always try and score off kickoff goals. Kickoff, sorry, guys. Um, because it's almost like it's not guaranteed, but it's, I would say it's like an 80% chance of actually getting it. As Rabio there clears the ball out up to Griezmann so let's see what Griezmann can do we're just going to rule it in this instance we easily get past uh, Diego Godin so we've got Griezmann on the ball Griezmann with the power button and there we go guys also you know how is everybody's practice going with the 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 button 
Has anybody been having good success with that? Have you guys been improving your long shots? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Always very interested about that. Um, some of these campaign games have been quite difficult. Like, for some reason, I don't, I don't know why, but, but they have been. Um, so, that's very interesting. And then some of them are just really, really easy. Like, we're already 2-0 up here. Uh, with, you know, only 20 minutes gone. So we've got Griezmann on the ball and he does get fouled. Can Pogba get to the ball? Going to try Rambo over, but Godding does track back, unfortunately, to dispossess us in that situation. Let's see if we can get the ball once again off Jimenez here. What is he doing? He is just mucking around with the ball at the back as he passes it around. Let's see what Dingye can do. Okay, the ball does go out there, guys. It does go out there. Have you guys been working on the Emmanuel Petit campaign? As always guys, very very interested about that. I 100% recommend everybody, you know, trying to work towards this because at the end of the day, the Petit campaign, it's going to help you with future French icons such as, you know, if we get the likes of Vieira, if we get Henri, um, you know, if we get uh, Desai, um, you know, Robert Perez, so at the end of the day, you know, doing these campaigns and leveling up these players, it's it's future investment, guys. It's it's not necessarily just for one for one player. The one problem with like me doing the Puyol campaign is that once we have done Puyol, I'm pretty sure he's the only Spanish icon. So other than like you know, obviously completing the Puyol campaign, um, you know, th the players that we do level up trying to get to the last node are pretty much just going to be used as experience points. Um, so yeah. One thing about the, the Petit campaign as well is that it's it's very, very um, friendly to all of us. You know, there's Trophy Master Mbappe. Uh, sorry, yeah, Trophy Master Mbappe. You know, there's Areola, there's Rabio, there's Pogba. A whole bunch of cards, you know, and also a lot of people would have got uh, N'Golo Kante uh, from Team of the Year. So there's already like a whole bunch of cards that, you know, most people may have. Not necessarily the Kante, but definitely the others. Um, so yeah, obviously as well, you know, Petit who is just... An absolute, like, he he's probably one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. Considering how uh, meta and how overpowered the diamond is, guys, um, Petit is just definitely, you know, he's 100% worth it. He's 100% worth the investment and the time. And like I said, he will help for future um, icons. And if not, you know, you know, in the future, if, you know, things, things don't work out with him, we can always use him for XP. Um, but yeah, we're just going to finish off this game guys and then talk about Team Heroes investment and an upgrade team So let's get right into that. So here we are guys completing off the Emmanuel Petit campaign And there's the icons pack guys So we get the trophy the rank up token as well as the 500k XP for Emmanuel Petit um, Obviously, you know, we cannot rank him up yet, but I'm assuming, you know, like Puyol, Deco and Hullet He will come back in the future. Let's just go through and upgrade our team um, so yeah, by the time you're seeing this, um, the Team of the Year players are probably already auctionable, so I probably will have a video on that as well. Um, but yeah, what we're going to be doing now guys is upgrading our team. So let's just go through and have a look at this. So first and foremost, um, we need to go through and upgrade some of our skill boosts. So let's go through and see which players are effective. Affected, sorry. Um, so we've got the goalkeeper diving for Buffon. One thing that I noticed about skill boost guys is that, um, you know, the ones that we actually need, like, you know, speed and dribbling, aggression, um, I I'm not getting them. It's it's so annoying. Like, as you can see, speed, uh, dribbling, like two players on my team, so four players in total are affected by that, and we still are yet to get them up to level 10, whereas some of them, we get just so many of them. Like, I feel that the drop rates are sort of skewed, um, you know, it, it sort of prevents you getting the ones that you actually need, like, you know, dribbling for Dali Ali and Hazard and speed for Cristiano Ronaldo as well as Bale uh, but what we're going to be doing is just switching out a few things and then going from there and here we are guys so we're just going to switch out our Rio Ferdinand and replace him with Sergio Ramos because Sergio Ramos is such a such a great card he has to slide into tackle trait like Maldini does uh, very 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 good center backs guys um, so we're going to go through and upgrade marking to get uh, Ramos up to 100 overall, so 90 plus 10, which is absolutely fantastic. The key is, you know, to work on skill boost at the end of the day. It is the cheapest way to, you know, get your, your overall up as well as gain levels. Um, but first and foremost, we are going to go through and uh, put in some Maldini XP. We have been working on his uh, campaign a little bit. Um, so 
We will be working towards him, but his campaign is a bit more difficult because there aren't that many free uh, Italian cards except for, you know, the Inzaghi, the Buffon, and, you know, obviously the Maldini. Um, so let's go through and just put that XP into him. So we'll up him by two. So that's 1.4 million coins, um, which is quite expensive. But guys, at the end of the day, you know, you do get the, the uh, XP with hard work, you do get it. So that, that's one thing to consider. What we're going to be doing now is putting in a whole bunch of XP into Emmanuel Petit and then going onto the market quickly and talking about Team Heroes. So as you can see here, putting all of this XP into Petit guys, let's see how high we can get him. We can get him up to 97, so that's as high as we can actually get him uh, by doing the campaign. So obviously what you need to do is do other Icons campaigns and then just melt them into Petit. So we're going to go through and upgrade him guys. 4.2 million coin upgrade there for plus 5 overall on one of the best cards in the game. I will take that any day of the week. Our coins are quite depleted guys, but that's okay because we have got a whole bunch of investments to claim guys. And you know, a lot of people have been asking me about investments. Now, the key is just to watch the market during Team Heroes and try and list at a very high price. Look at this, we're getting... Cards at 78 overall selling at, you know, 150k, 77 overall for 95k. We've also got some cards from the icons which, which we did sell after doing their, um, you know, their, uh, you know, their uh, campaigns, guys. But, you know, 150k, 130k, we picked up that Komen for like 30k. It's all about patience. At the end of the day, a marathon, not a sprint, guys. Watch your market, know your market and list when you think is the best. Now let's go through and claim up all of these coins, guys. 90% of those coins are from Team Heroes, guys. Team Heroes. And at the end of the day, you want to try and get as many coins as possible out of them. Like I said, it's a marathon, not a sprint, guys. Not a sprint. Also had Iniesta there, who was like a sort of um, a card that we pulled. But as you can see, we're now at 23 million, guys. All from investing all from investing but other than that this is pretty much just going to be the end of the video for today thank you all for everything and peace